what's going on guys today i'm back out here at canaveral national seashore it is october 16th right around 3 30. Uh, high tide was right at two conditions look uh, they look all right today it's a little windy a little rough but the water is nice and clear as you can see and there's a ton of bait around i can't stress that enough um, there's mullet running there's a little drop off right here and there's mullet running this constantly right along here like there's a there's a school right there running along there's mullet i'm seeing sand fleas all along this line i'm seeing a bunch of fleas as soon as this wave goes out yeah there's fleas right there right by my rod so i mean i can't i can't stress this enough there's a lot of bait here so i got a good feeling we're gonna catch some fleas put them on my uh, triple dropper loop rig that's a that's a tongue twister put them on that rig maybe get some pompano maybe some whiting um and then we're gonna catch some live mullet and we're gonna put the live mullet out on my other rod for hopefully a redfish. So stay tuned, I gotta get to fishing. See you guys in a minute. All right, I got mullet running all over right here. I gotta catch one for the redfish rod. There we go, more than one. I just need one of you guys. Oops. Just the one. All right, so we're gonna take this guy. Oh, get these other guys back in the water. I didn't bring a bait bucket, so I'll just catch him as I need him. I'm just gonna hook him right through the lips. This is the same setup I was using in the last video. Um, I've got a 4-0 uh, circle hook, a, uh, a loop knot on it, 50-pound fluorocarbon. I got that going to a swivel with a bead to protect the knot, and then a snap swivel with my weight on it, and then about six feet to 80 pound mono, and then that leads back to a 30 pound braid. It's either 30 or 25, I can't remember. But I'm just gonna pitch this one right out here close, because that's where all the mullet are, so that's where the fish that are gonna eat them are. And another important thing with this, Make sure your drag is set. Because if a big redfish scoops up that mullet, we're in for a ride. And I don't want my rod two miles offshore. I'd prefer it stay on the beach. So, leaving that all set. All right, well, down here on my other rod, I got that triple dropper loop rig and um, there's sand fleas all over the place, right? I mean, they're literally at my feet right now. So I caught a couple walking over here. Come back here. So I got one sand flea, two sand fleas, and we're gonna do a fish bite on the top just to mix it up. So there we go, fish bite on the top, and I need a weight, and then we're gonna pitch this out there. All right, going with a Sputnik sinker today. It's a little rough today, so I want the Sputnik just so I know that this holds out there. You know, on the other rod, I'm not really concerned about it with it being in close, but this one I'm gonna put out there a good ways. Um, so I want that Sputnik on there just to keep it, keep it secure. There we go, we're just on the other side of this close bar here. So, not super far out there. I don't know, maybe 60 yards. But we're just right on the other side of that bar out there. Hopefully there's some, maybe there's some Pompano cruising through now. Um, there should be some whiting at least, so. Hopefully we can pick up a couple whiting and maybe a Pompano if we're lucky. Just had a big hit on this one. 
I have a feeling it was a bluefish or something. And it took our mullet or cut him in half. Yep. Look at that. Clean cut. Maybe a shark. Who knows? All right, guess I'll throw, catch us another one. All right, there's a school right there. Oh, banana pancakes. Banana pancakes, but I still got one. Got more than one. You know they're thick when you can throw a banana pancake with a four foot net and still get a half a dozen. That last one, they had a short strike on it, so. I'm gonna try this. I've never hooked mullet really through the, um, you know, behind the uh, dorsal fin, but I'm just gonna try that. Maybe that will help us uh, alleviate a short strike. And I'm just gonna pitch this right out here again. Just, I mean like, that's like seven yards. Just keep it in real close. hooked up we're hooked up hardly even hit the water it literally hit the water and I turned my GoPro off and I immediately bent over oh feels like a jack what is it looks like a jack oh bluefish there we go man that was a quick strike Literally, that thing hit the water. Oh, easy, buddy, easy. Bait hit the water, this guy nailed it. I don't know why he's bleeding so bad. It's a circle hook. Guess it got him a little deep. Well, guess he's shark bait. All right, now I gotta catch another mullet. Wow, maybe I should have brought a bait bucket. I didn't think this was gonna be this hot. All right, I haven't had a bite in a minute or two. I've seen some stuff jumping out past this bar right here. So I got myself a fresh mullet and I'm gonna pitch him out on the other side of that bar because I've seen bait busting there the last couple minutes. The tide's going out, this trough here's losing water. You can see down there the trough ends and um, it spits out down there which would be a good spot to fish too. But we're getting shallower and shallower in here and as that's been happening I've been seeing stuff bust on the other side of that bar so we're gonna pitch this guy way the heck out there and because i pitched him too far to the left we're just gonna switch these rods so i don't get no tangles i ain't got no tangles oh ho, ho. had another hit Come on back for it. There he is. There he is. A little bluefish maybe. Bluey, bluey, bluey. Oh, there we go, perfect. A little blue. Oh, did you guys see that hit? Almost bent the rod over. Wow, can't even get it out of the holder. Gotta be a jack. A 
blue, feisty blue. Feisty blue fish. Feisty blue fish. Not a bad little blue. Trying to let you go, buddy. Oh, someone was hungry. Someone was hungry. Bluefish, bluefish. Easy, buddy. Oh, that works. See you later. Come on, wave, get him. Come on, buddy, go, 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 go. There he goes. Got a bite. Got a hit. Mr. Jack, another submarine. A little submarine. Guys, check out this little whiting I caught. He was in the cast net. Man, if I had a saltwater aquarium, he'd be in it. He's a little cutie. Oh. Fishy, fishy. Feels like a blue. Feels like Mr. Bluefish. I got one fish, I got two fish. I ain't got a red fish, but I got a blue fish. Easy. See you later. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, glad I could finally catch some fish for you guys. So not another video of me getting skunked, but actually had a good day out here today. Bunch of blue fish, uh, a couple jacks, a whiting. So not too bad, a good mixed bag, and it was a lot of fun. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.